In today's video, we are going to share a strategy. It gives very good feedback and we are getting better results from it so we are going to share it with you today. So no doubt it will be very useful for you. In today's video, we will show analysis with the help of a few indicators so that you can do this analysis and take an entry. We will present it in a simple way so that anyone can understand today's video, so stay with us till the end. In the video, we will show you how to do market analysis using a few indicators and how to take an entry, hoping you stay till the end. So hello viewers, I am an official member of ForexBD and I hope you all are well. Let's take a look at the beginning, how to set up. As I said today, we will analyze the market through some indicators and also present the whole thing to you so that you can do the analysis on your own. So we have to set up some indicators. We will set up three indicators. One of them is CCI. The next one is Parabolic SAR and the last one is the EMA. If you search by writing their names in the search option, these indicators will come in front of you. So search and then do it. Even then, we are showing you how to set up one by one. But for EMA, that is, moving average, you have to write and search for 10 in one different moving average. By doing this, an indicator will appear in front of you. Once clicked on it, this indicator will be set up on the chart. We have set up this indicator now. We are doing a little setting so come to the setting option. We will put a tick mark on the second option here because we need two lines. The length of one line should be 200 and the length of the other line should be 50. Although one line is set up beforehand, you need to set up the second one. Then we will set the CCI indicator. So come to the settings option and here we will set up the column instead of the line option above. Clicking here will bring up all the options from which you have to select the column. The next thing to do is to remove the middle band and background. That's why just removing the tick mark. This is the end of the work, but if you want, you can change the color or change the size of the line. We took it our way. Then we don't need to do anything with the parabolic indicator. Now let's see how to do the analysis. We have set up and set three indicators for analysis. Hope you understand how to set them up. You take the help of any one indicator for analysis. You can take the help of moving average first. We will discuss by trades first. To take a buy trade, the 50 level should be above the 200 level in the market. That is, the 50 level of the moving average should be above the 200 level and the market should also be above the 50 level. That is, the market will be above two lines and the 50 line of the moving average will be above the 200 line. But the market will cross the 50 level and go down, but will not cross the 200 level and the market will turn around and go up again. And whenever the market goes up and crosses the 50 level again from bottom, you will take the help of other indicators. For example, parabolic indicator can be used. Do analysis with this indicator. But the rule is that since you take by entry, the points of parabolic indicator should be below the candlestick. I repeat the points should be below the candlestick and the candlestick should be above the parabolic indicator's points. As you can see on the screen, the parabolic indicator is below the candlestick. Then here, we are getting a buy signal. Then we will analyze it through the CCI indicator. The rule in this case is that since we will take a buy entry, the market cannot be in an overbought position. That is, before you take an entry, check that the market is in an overbought position on the CCI indicator. If it is not in an overbought position, then you can take an entry. And if in an overbought position, then no need to take entry. If the market does not go into an overbought position, then you can take a buy entry. There are such placements in the market. You can see exactly such placements and then take entry. As you can see in this place, we are getting such a placement. In the CCI indicator market has not gone to an overbought position yet. 
The horizontal line above is the overbought line and the horizontal line below is the oversold line. When these columns cross the upper line, it means an overbought position, and when the columns cross the lower original line, it is called an oversold position. Next, if we look at the moving average lines, we can see that the 50 line is above the 200 line, and the market was above the 50 level. Again, if we look at the parabolic indicator, then we can see that the indicator points have shifted from top to bottom that means now the points are down and the candle is up that means the market is signaling an uptrend. Finally, if we look at the market movement then we can see that the market crossed the 50 level and went down, but the market did not cross the 200 level and before that the market pulled back again and now the market is at the 50 level that means the market will now break this line because here is a strong bullish candle, then by entry can be taken from here. If we look at the next movement of the market, you can see that the market has gone to an uptrend, then you can understand how to do this analysis, we have shown from the market. Again, you can follow this strategy to get a sell entry, so you have to follow in reverse. We will show this matter from the market, but before that, I request those who still subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell and click the bell icon to never miss any update. To take a sell entry, you have to follow the same criteria as before, so you have to follow the criteria that we followed earlier, such as not being in a market oversold position in the CCI indicator. We can see here that the market is not in an oversold position i.e., the columns of the CCI indicator have not yet touched the lower horizontal line. Then between the moving average lines we can see that the 50 level is below the 200 level and the market was also below the 50 level then the market crossed the 50 level and went up but did not touch the 200 level before that the market cooled down and now the market is in the 50 level. Expect the market to go downtrend from here as we see a strong bearish scandal here. Finally, if we look at the parabolic indicator, we can see that the points of the parabolic have shifted from the bottom to the top, which means that we are getting a market downtrend signal, then we are getting the same signal in all three indicators. Then this is a perfect place to take a sell entry. You can analyze and take entries. If we see the next movement of the market, then the market has gone downtrend. Then you can understand how effective an analysis is. You can follow this way and take entries, but first watch the video carefully and try to understand how to do the analysis. This is a bit complicated, so it may take some time to understand, but it is very easy. Once you understand, you can follow yourself. So watch the previous video and then analyze yourself. However, before we end the video, Let's see this analysis shortly. In the CCI indicator market has not gone to an overbought position yet. The horizontal line above is the overbought line and the horizontal line below is the oversold line. When these columns cross the upper line, it means an overbought position, and when the columns cross the lower original line, it is called an oversold position. Next, if we look at the moving average lines we can see that the 50 line is above the 200 line, and the market was above the 50 level. Again, if we look at the parabolic indicator, then we can see that the indicator points have shifted from top to bottom that means now the points are down and the candle is up that means the market is signaling an uptrend. Finally, if we look at the market movement then we can see that the market crossed the 50 level and went down, but the market did not cross the 200 level, and before that the market pulled back again, and now the market is at the 50 level that means the market will now break this line, because here is a strong bullish candle, then by entry, can be taken from here. We will make a request to you wherever you create an account broker house or payment gateway. You must use the Forex BDS link. This will keep your account safe at all times. 
you will be able to participate in any type of contest, you will have the opportunity to trade in zero pips spread, so be sure to account under the link given below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button because your likes and comments give us confidence to do something better and if you have any suggestions you can leave a comment so that ForexBD can meet your needs all the time.